All right, you guys. So today we're going to get a look at the Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Brody Rook figure in the Black Series 6 inch line. Now, I think it goes without saying that this particular figure has been not greatly anticipated, but uh, we've been waiting for this figure for quite a long time uh, to complete our full team of the Rogue One squadron. Uh, the heroes of Rogue One. So uh, we're going to get a look at this particular figure, guys, and I'm very, very excited to get a look at this guy. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, we have our Black Series logo at the top. We have our figure in the window uh, depicted with his accessories, which look really, really nice, his weapon as well. We have the Rogue One, a Star Wars story banner just below the figure. We have Brody Rook, warning label, four and up, Hasbro, Let's get a look at the side panel. So getting you a look at the side panel for our Brody Rook figure. One thing I want to mention, I'm going to kind of go off script here, guys. So I've been really kind of had mixed emotions about whether I should pick up the full line of the re-release of the other figures to go with the Brody Rook. I, I most definitely did it for the Rebels line. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it for the Rogue One line. I do enjoy the figures. I think they're absolutely awesome. And I do understand that the new release have the updated face print. Um, so I may pick up those figures one by one sometime in the near future. But as it stands right now, I think I'm more focused on this particular figure, the one figure that we did not get out of the Rogue One line of figures, guys. So uh, getting you a look at the uh, panel there, we have our uh, depiction of Brody there. Very, very nice. Um, looks like we have the Imperial cargo ship uh, just behind him, the one that he pilots in the film very very nice obviously they are on scarif very very cool stuff there guys it looks like uh sharit and we uh would be the figure that's uh just next to him right there as we have his leg crossed over brody right there so um really really cool and again uh, i will eventually pick up the other figures in this particular line just so i can complete my portrait of all of the figures uh but for right now i'm really focused on this particular figure because he's the one figure that we did not get in the original release of the Rogue One figures. And then of course for the back of the box again we have the depiction of our character right here uh, same as the side portrait there. We have our blurb, Black Series logo, attention, information, warnings, Hasbro, Disney. And then your blurb on our Brody Rook figure reads a former Imperial pilot Brody has strong piloting and technical skill that he will put to good use for the rebellion. Ever practical, but highly anxious. Brody must gather his courage to bring the battle to the Empire. Of course, he is number six in the Rogue One, a Star Wars story line. And we have our banner just across the bottom of the box there. All right, you guys, so we're going to pull our figure out of the box. We're going to get a look at all of the very, very good looking detail that we can see just obviously from the inside of the package on this figure. Of course, we'll get a look at the articulation, the accessories. And then, of course, as always, we're going to put our figure in a very, very awesome diorama built around Scarif, guys. So please stay tuned. All right, you guys, and we have our figure out of the box and he looks really, really good out of the box. Uh, kind of got a look at the backpack and some of the uh, functions of the backpack. Uh, got a look at some of the detail. Uh, I have, there is one little item that I am a little um, a, a little discouraged with uh, to say, but other than that, uh, there are uh, some really, really cool features with this particular figure, and we're going to get a look at all of that right now, guys. Let's get a look at the detail on this particular figure. So the first thing that jumps out to me 
with this particular figure is the face sculpt. I think the face sculpt is really, really nice. Just get you guys a better look at that face sculpt. So the face sculpt, in my opinion, is really, really good for this particular figure. I think it's just about spot on. Maybe not 100%, but I'd say about at least about 95% spot on. Pretty nice, pretty cool. And then of course you have the vest. It has lots of detail in it, stuff in the pockets, the silver cylinder there. And all of the pockets look like they're full. Very, very nice. You have the Imperial symbol right there on the shoulder. And then you come around to the backpack and there's just more detail there. Really, really nice. You have the detail in here, more detail there. You have the nozzle that he's gonna plug into the uh, system there to try to get that signal up to the rebellion. And of course you have the uh, wire harness, which is really nice. And then on the other side, again, you have the imperial symbol and cylinders in the sleeve. And then you have some more detail here, right there. So really, really nice detail on this figure. I mean, you can say that the weight was well worth it uh, from a detail standpoint with this particular figure, because he just looks really, really good, really nice. You have your shoes there. And then you have the goggles on the head, which is a really nice accessory and would be even better if they were removable, uh, but the goggles, I don't believe are removable. I tried to re remove it and put it over his eyes. And I don't know why they would not give us a removable uh, goggle for this figure. Um, but uh, unfortunately, uh, that is not the case. He just wears them on the top of his head, which is uh, just a little disappointing uh, with this figure. I think it would have really, really put this figure over the top uh, if you included the goggles as an additional accessory that you can put on and off of his eyes. But they do look cool on his, uh, on his forehead. But uh, it would be better if you could actually, if they were actually functional. But very nice figure nonetheless. So getting you guys a look at the articulation for our Brody Rook figure from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. It's gonna give you a straight arm like so, elbow bend like so. Your twist is at the elbow. You also have a twist in the wrist as well. In your right hand, you have your up and down hinge. In the left hand, you have a back and forth hinge. As always, he's gonna give you the 360, which is really, really nice. He's gonna give you an outstanding T-pose. In the leg area, he's gonna kick out about that high. He's gonna give you a knee high that goes up about that high. He's only gonna kick back about that far, unfortunately. Your kick out to the side is gonna go about that far. His widest stance is gonna be about that far. Your twist is at the thigh. You also have a twist at the knee as well. In the ankle, it's gonna go down about that far. It's gonna go up about that far in the ankle. Of course, you have your rocker as well in the ankle. In the torso, he's gonna go down about that far. Back about that far. It's got a fairly decent range. And then you have your left to right twist. And then in the head area, gonna look down about that far, up about that far, left to right, and your head nod. So he is a really, really nice figure and very, very nice articulation with your Brody Rook six inch black series figure. And then again, getting you a look at the accessories and the uh, backpack or the wire harness, really, really nice detail 
as we saw earlier. And then for the backside, you can see there's the uh, metal looking harness that holds the straps. You have a nice little, you have a nice little piece there and ridges there on the uh, shoulder harnesses. So really, really nice detail. The wire harness itself pops off and you have all the wiring there, as you guys can see, and it does pull out, obviously, as well as the spool comes off as well. So as you can see, you can pull the uh, spool off itself and pull the wire out. And it has a pretty good length to it. You have the side holster there that will hold the nozzle for your wire harness. So this is a very, very cool accessory right here, guys. And then as always, you have your uh, weapon. And of course, this is a weapon that we've seen before. However, uh, we didn't get a lot of paint apps, unfortunately, on the weapon. Uh, usually we get a little silver. We get a little silver right on there, usually. Uh, not the case this time around. We just get a more of a dark grayish uh, color for his weapon. Um, and uh, really not much more than that, uh, other than the normal detail that we've seen on this particular weapon before. So a um, little, little disappointed with that, but um, still nice that he comes with the weapon as well. And getting you guys a look at our full Rogue One, a Star Wars story team for the first time in the six inch line, guys. So Brody is the only one out of the new box style figures out of this group. All of the other ones are from the old style box, the older print, face print, guys. So, so we're going to go ahead and get our Brody Rook into a very cool diorama. With his crew here. So guys, let's go ahead and get started with the diorama. <laughs> finally have him uh, together with the crew guys I'm very excited to have him i think he is a very very cool figure I love all of the accessories that he comes with uh, it is unfortunate that the goggles uh, are not removable 
uh, and of course the lack of paint apps on the gun uh, would also be a very disappointing point as well. Uh, but other than that, I think he is an amazing figure. I think the wire spool in the back, uh, the, the harness, the backpack, I think it is very, very awesome and very nice accessory. I love all of the detail on this particular figure. I think the face sculpt is absolutely awesome. Uh, so very, very nice and very cool looking figure, uh, despite uh, the two little nitpicks that I have uh, for this particular figure, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are in regards to the Brody Brook six inch figure for your Rogue One a Star Wars story line of figures, guys. Have you picked them up? And have you picked up the full wave after picking up the original wave? Not as enthusiastic to pick up the other figures as I've already had these. Uh, but of course, I would like to get the updated face print. So eventually, I will probably pick them up one by one. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are and put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the OB-1 Force Ghost, may the force be with you always.